very good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. His Royal Highness or Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa laid the foundation stone of a new building in, ba in the Bahrain International Airport, which will accommodate 14 million travelers annually, with the cost of 1.1 billion US dollars. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the project is the largest in national civil aviation history, adding that it is one of the major developmental projects set to be completed during the next years with the total cost of 32 billion US dollars. He said these projects aim to push forward economic development efforts and reinforce Bahrain's status in the economic and tourism fields in addition to increasing its competitive capabilities as a center for logistics services in the, in the region. He added Bahrain is facing economic challenges with more developmental projects that will move and refresh the economy which will positively impact the national economy and diversify sources of income. The Prime Minister asserted the project is a result of a Gulf cooperation and integration which is reflected by the Gulf Developmental Programme, highlighting the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in supporting governmental efforts that reinforce Bahrain's abilities to implement such developmental projects. He said these projects aim to strengthen the Kingdom's infrastructure and create an open atmosphere that attracts foreign investments in addition to meeting the needs of the increase in travellers and goods shipments. He added that the development... He added that the development and progress march is continuous in all fields, stressing that all efforts are directed towards consolidating the national economy and creating more job opportunities for the people. His Royal Highness has said that the Bahrain International Airport expansion project serves the Kingdom's approach to attract unenhanced tourism and travel movement to Bahrain and turn Bahrain into a favorite tourist destination and a strategic gathering point that links regional and international markets. During the ceremony, the Minister of of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamal bin Ahmed, delivered a speech in which he expressed that thanks to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and congratulated the leadership and the people on the occasion of the anniversary of the National Action Charter, which coincides with the official launch of the airport's development project. The minister said the openness is a historic characteristic of Bahrain, highlighting the importance of making use of the kingdom's strategic geographic location through reinforcing infrastructure in the field of logistics in addition to guaranteeing necessary facilities and procedures that would enhance the efficiency of air and sea ports. He affirmed the project comes in the framework of the strategic projects being implemented by the government to diversify the economy and achieve higher levels of activity, which would increase the national economy's flexibility to deal with changes and demands imposed by the international economic developments. He added the outcomes of this project will meet the demands of the developmental march led by His Majesty the King through the wise leadership which puts the citizens and their best interest as their top priority. The Minister Kamal bin Ahmed noted the project is the fruit of Gulf Cooperation Council's strategic cooperation and integration represented in the Gulf Developmental Program. He expressed the pride in the role of Bahrain International Airport and highlighted what the new expansion will provide of international quality services and high performance in the field of civil aviation which will complete the national transportation system. During the launch ceremony, a documentary was played about the history of aviation in Bahrain and the plan of the developmental project in addition to the achievements that has been made under the leadership of His Majesty the King. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince toured a photo exhibition and looked at the geometric model of the airport. The Royal Highnesses was then presented a commemorative gift by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication. The airport expansion project includes a new travelers building which will require main works and infrastructure, piling works, passenger loading bridges, baggage handling systems, horizontal and vertical passenger transport systems, information and communications technology ICT and security screening equipment.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held today his weekly majlis at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed a wide range of visitors, including members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council, members of municipal councils, prominent religious figures, academics, community leaders, journalists, and diplomats accredited to the kingdom. The audience expressed their appreciation of His Royal Highness's keen engagement engagement with citizens by maintaining commitment to Bahrain's values, traditions and national identity. The attendees also commended His Royal Highness's efforts to reinforce the kingdom's sustainable development under the development program initiated by His Majesty the King, as well as the government's efforts to deliver significant improvements to public services. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the President of the Asian Shooting Confederation, the ASC, Sheikh Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed his congratulations to Sheikh Ali bin Abdullah for being named as the President of the Asian Shooting Confederation for four years. His Highness affirmed the capability of Bahraini personnel to achieve higher positions and hailed Sheikh Ali's remarkable efforts exerted in the development of the shooting sports on both regional and continental levels. His Highness wished Sheikh Ali every success in assuming his new mission. For his part, President of the Asian Shooting Confederation expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his constant support to Bahraini caters and noted the importance of exerting more efforts to further develop the shooting sports in the Asian continent. <coughs> The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the President of the Asian Sports Press Union and Vice President of the International Sports Press Union, Mohammed Qasim, on the occasion of winning the election that was held last week in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated Mohammed Qasim, wishing him further success. His Highness then was briefed about the plans and programs of the Asian Sports Press Union. Mohammed Qasim expressed appreciation to His Highness, lauding his continuous support. Then he presented His Highness with a memorandum gift. The Deputy Prime Minister and Deputy Head of the Civil Services Council, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronized today the launching ceremony of the Master of Public Administration program by the Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, in cooperation with the Aix Marseille University, the French National School of Administration, in addition to the University of Bahrain and Temkin. The attendees were the Director of the National School of Administration, Nathalie Louise, a number of ministers and senior state officials. The Deputy Prime Minister hailed the cooperation of the Bahraini Institute of Public Administration, which aims to achieve human resource development. He also hailed the government's keenness led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the constant follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, regarding developing national caters. He also called on students to increase their dedication in order to achieve success in the program. The Master of Public administration program aims to train civil servants and upgrade their skills in the public administration sector in order to develop the quality of public facilities provided for citizens.
Bahrain's National Action Charter laid the foundation for comprehensive developments in all areas and paved the way for extensive public participation in the democratic process of the kingdom. We have more in this report. Bahrain is celebrating the 15th anniversary of the National Action Charter, which was approved almost unanimously by the Bahraini people during February 14, 2001 referendum. The charter represented an advanced step in the kingdom's outstanding political reform march, spearheaded by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to consolidate constitutional institutions in the country and meet the aspirations of the Bahraini people for further development and progress in various fields. Following the adoption of the National Action Charter by a 98.4% majority, the amended constitution, based on the Charter's principles, was issued in February 2002, paving the way for establishment of a state of constitutional institutions. The National Action Charter affirmed that the goal of the government is to protect the country, maintain national unity and achieve comprehensive sustainable development in the political, socio-economic, culture and other fields. It also stressed that justice is the basis of government and that quality, rule of law, liberty, security, peace, education, social solidarity and equal opportunity are all core principles of the society that are ensured by the state. The Charter affirmed that the state shoulders the responsibility of ensuring them for all citizens on equal footing. All citizens are equal before the law in terms of rights and duties, without distinction based on race, origin, language, or religion, or belief. The National Action Charter affirmed that the government of Bahrain is based on the rule of law. The independence and immunity of the judiciary are two key guarantees for protecting rights and freedoms. The National Action Charter came to guarantee the citizens access to basic needs including comprehensive health care. Building on that vision, the Ministry, the Ministry of Health managed to make different achievements in the field during the past 15 years. Mohamed Shaban sheds light on these gains in this report. Fifteen years ago, the National Action Charter was born to reaffirm the government's commitment towards providing a prosperous life for the citizens of Bahrain. The brainchild of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the charter was endorsed by 98.4% of the Bahraini population. It kick-started the process of reform and set forth a vision for a better future in the political, economic, social and human development spheres. The charter came to guarantee social and basic services to the citizens of the kingdom. On top of these social services is the constitutional right for comprehensive health care. And from that vision, the kingdom made outstanding gains in the field of health care and health services with the aim of providing the best treatment modalities and technologies to the citizens and with a constant support from the government. There will be like more, more support uh, from the government to, do, to achieve all the things that will be needed for the population of Bahrain regarding the secondary health care services. And the same time that there will be like a monitoring concept of monitoring. So everyone will be involved in that. He will be involved to evaluate what are the services are there. He will just raise it to the concerns and he will share this information with the government. The ministry has witnessed substantial growth since the endorsement of the charter in 2001, including a solid infrastructure of primary health care centers throughout the different governorates, while bagging international accreditations for its different health institutions. This growth, driven by the principles of the charter, was attested to by the advanced levels Bahrain has secured in the UN Millennium Development Goal Report in 2010, which commended the effectiveness of the Bahraini health care system. The Ministry of Health has made many achievements and gains in the health sector during the past years. These achievements and programs were focused on improving services, sustaining health care and promoting disease prevention. The Ministry worked on improving the health information system, fortifying the health centre's network and reinforcing private-public partnerships, while also inaugurating the ISEHA network and the Autolab at Salmania Medical Complex. The Ministry also managed to secure the Canadian accreditation for its primary care services and is waiting on the results of the Secondary Healthcare Canadian Accreditation Committee. And so the health sector in Bahrain continues to thrive as it works under the slogan of putting the patient first and providing them with the best services as is stipulated by the principles of the document put forth by His Majesty 15 years ago and endorsed by the overwhelming majority of our people. And yet another successful story thanks to the National Action Charter as the Ministry of Health celebrates 15 years of achievements in the fields of medicine and health care. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News.